A majority of Australian families will wake up to fewer presents under the tree and more leftovers in the fridge this Christmas. Cost of living pressures mean more than half have cut back on holiday travel, while two thirds are spending less on presents. Presents wrapped tight, household budgets even tighter. We've had the budget a little bit harder than we normally do. Big families as well makes it really difficult. Cost of living pressures constricting the spirit of Christmas. A Resolve poll finding two thirds of Australian families are buying fewer presents or less expensive ones this year. We've spent uh, most of our year doing second hand buying things for the kids that are reused, recycling. Higher interest rates, energy bills and insurance costs mean less in the wallet for Christmas cheer. Leftovers will go further, with 63% of families to spend less on eating out. What do we hear in response to that? Oh well, Christmas 2024 will be a lot better. You know, try telling that to struggling families. Over half of households have cut back on holiday travel plans. The Prime Minister ducked away for a brief four-day break wine tasting in Western Australia. I think that's eminently uh, reasonable and the Prime Minister has worked really, really hard um, this year. The people who elected Anthony Albanese, they thought they elected someone who was a battler, who was like them. $350 bottles of wine, I don't think many Australian families would look forward to that this Christmas. One item on the Prime Minister's Christmas list this year will be a Labor hold in the seat of Dunkley, which goes to a by-election in early 2024. It was held by former MP Peter Murphy, who lost her battle with cancer earlier this month. Labor holds the seat by a margin of just over 6%. I'm hopeful that the electors of Dunkley will honour Peter's memory by re-electing uh, another Labor candidate. Unforeseen circumstances aside, the Prime Minister is set to serve a full term, meaning it's unlikely Australians will receive the surprise gift of a federal election in 2024. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.